In this video, I'll bust one of the biggest myths about nutrition that is saturated fats like ghee or coconut oil are bad for your health. Now, contrary to conventional wisdom which demonizes saturated fat, I strongly feel it is one of the healthiest fat one can consume. Here are some amazing facts about saturated fats. Now, mother's milk has more than 50% of calories from saturated fat and a higher proportion of cholesterol. This is because cholesterol and saturated fats are essential for growth in babies and children, especially when it comes to brain development. Now, saturated fats play many vital roles in the body, such as helping to strengthen the immune system, promote healthy bones, protect the liver and provide structural integrity to the cells. After all, saturated fatty acids make up for at least half of your cell membranes. Now, saturated fats are very stable and they do not oxidize when used in cooking at high temperature, which is why I recommend ghee or coconut oil for cooking, especially Indian meals, which require a longer time to cook. Now, let's briefly look at some high quality studies that truly bust the myth that saturated fat is bad for you. Research number one. In 2010, a meta-analysis involving more than 300,000 individuals found no significant evidence that dietary saturated fat is associated with an increased risk of heart disease or cardiovascular disease. Research number two. A study in the British Medical Journal by British cardiologist Asim Malhotra concluded that saturated fat has actually found to be protective to our health. This is because our cardiovascular disease risk is linked with the small dense type B LDL particles, which is responsible to carbohydrate intake, whereas saturated fat consumption increases only the type A large buoyant LDL particles, which has no impact on cardiovascular problems. Now guys, along with saturated fat, I also recommend including omega-3 fatty acids found in uh, fatty fish. If you don't eat fish, then it's best to include a supplement. Now krill oil is the best. If you need a vegetarian option, go for flaxseed oil. And lastly, monounsaturated fats found in extra virgin olive oil, avocados and nuts are also very important for your health and should be part of your diet. And my strongest recommendation is to absolutely limit the use of polyunsaturated fats, omega-6 found in vegetable oils. They are pro-inflammatory and quite bad for your health. This means stop using vegetable oils like corn, soya or sunflower for cooking. I'll make a separate video on what happens when you use these oils for cooking. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when this video is out. In the end, I'll just say this. Most good fats exist in nature as it is. Fats in avocados, almonds, walnuts, flax seeds, chia seeds. When it comes to cooking, start using minimally processed or better cold pressed fats and oils like coconut oil or ghee, which has the highest concentration of saturated fats in them because they are stable when subjected to heat. If you can make them at home, like my mom does, it's the best option. Now, bad fats, on the other hand, are man-made. Vegetable oils, trans fats, and margarine. They not only undergo a lot of processing, but various chemical agents are added in them, which is not good for your health. Guys, I walk my talk. If I'm recommending something to you, be rest assured, I have been doing it long enough to understand its health benefits. I've been consuming ghee all my life and coconut oil every now and then. And I've linked up my full blood report. Find the link in the description box. Ciao.